In our department, we are focusing on the underlying mechanisms of atrial fibrillation because this is the most common arrhythmia in clinical practice. Over 2.7 million people suffer from this disease in the US and it increases the risk of life-threatening arrhythmias. One possible treatment is catheter ablation, which goes promising results, but in 30% of the cases, the atrial fibrillation returns. The other possibility is drug treatment, but the available drugs might have proarrhythmic effect on the left ventricle, so there is a need to develop atrial-specific drugs. Our department has access to the human cardiac tissue thanks to the relation with the hospital. In our lab, we follow an established protocol in order to isolate human cardiac cells. So, what do you need to have in your laboratory to do some cardiac electrophysiology? First, I'm going to show you the patch clamp. It's an instrument that it's called in this way because you can patch the membrane of the cells. At the same time, you can clamp the voltage at the value that you prefer. Uh, you get to go close with an electrode to the membrane of the cell, get the seal, then wrench the membrane applying pressure with a siren in order to, to have access to the cell and measure the ion currents. Ooh, it's a fresh Our department is famous to have developed a technique that enables the realization of a 3D cardiac tissue. In particular, we use this device that is made by deflecting post in silicone and we will be able to create a tissue between these two posts. We will use this 3D concept in order to realize an in vitro model of atrial fibrillation and to study its mechanism. After one week, this engineered tissue this construct will reach a complete maturation and in our department we are able then to perform a video optical contractility analysis. In fact, we develop an automated figure recognition that enables us to measure the force, the frequency and the contraction and the relaxation times of this construct. Our strength is the fact that, that we can do research on the same topic but from different point of view. Yeah, in fact, I am a biomedical engineer and I have a technical background and for this reason I miss a lot of biological knowledge about it. I'm a biologist and I already did mm -hmm. my master thesis about cardiac electrophysiology and atrial fibrillation, so I already have some insight about the disease. So you can help her? Yeah, sure. <laughs>